check in with you guys. I am currently en route to Madison, Wisconsin for a short little getaway. I am going there with my dog Phoebe and I'm doing like a pet friendly vacation in Madison, Wisconsin and we are staying at Hotel Red which is dog friendly and super accommodating to pets so I'm really excited to be able to stay there. Um, we're about an hour outside of Madison. We just got into Wisconsin, Illinois, and we had a little bit of traffic, so it's taken us a little bit longer to get there, which is all right. Um, but currently starving, so I think after we check in, we're gonna head um, and get something to eat because I'm just super, super. arrived to my hotel. I am staying at Hotel Red and I'm here for a short little getaway. I'm also here with my dog Phoebe doing like a little pet friendly vacation and so I thought I would first give you a tour of this gorgeous hotel room. It is beautiful so let me show you around. Okay so this is from the entryway. It's very modern and I love the feel so far. It's the bed and then over here there's like this little kitchen area which it's like there's like a little mini bar section and then there's also a little fridge dishwasher and i think it's a little stove let's check it out even a little stove top i don't think we're going to be doing much cooking but you never know i guess right so then for this way there's a tv a little seating area i love the couch and a chair a little desk area and then out here I think this might be my favorite part actually is like a balcony Let's see I've not open this yet there we go oh oh it is warm out here it's like 90 degrees today but so a little view there's lots of construction going on apparently but there this is a really spacious patio chairs Sit out here in the morning it's a little too hot right now and then go back inside Let's see. oh and then get a whole view of the hotel room this way it's really spacious i love it, it reminds me of like a studio apartment show that shut so this is the whole room. Oh, and let me show you the bathroom. So here's the bathroom, and I am just in love with the shower. I mean, is that not beautiful? And the sink, it's very modern. Love the concrete mirror, and the bathroom. What do you think, Phoebe? You like the hotel room? You like it? Are you excited? Yeah, you happy? You happy to be on the trip? Yeah. I know, we're gonna go get some water. Yeah. You excited? <gasps> yeah, excited. I think she's quite enjoying herself. Yeah? And someone has already made themselves at home on the bed. The whole bed for you, huh? What do you think? You like it? Oh, yeah. You like the bed? Yeah. I think you do. <laughs> so I just finished getting settled into the room, everything unpacked, and I'm starving. Didn't really have breakfast or lunch, and it is now 3.30 Wisconsin time, but it's really like 4.30 for me on Michigan time. So definitely need to eat. So I think we're gonna head to the Green Owl Cafe, which they have a patio, and I can bring Phoebe so we can enjoy a dinner together. And then I think after that, we might go to one of the breweries and have a drink. It's been a long day of travel and I'm excited to try some local Wisconsin beers that I have not had before. So I'm gonna go ahead and drive down to the restaurant to grab something to eat. Here at the Green Owl in Madison, I got the vegan crab po' boy and crispy kale chips. Looks really good. This is the vegan vanilla cheesecake.
Capitol here in Madison. See it? hotel room here at Hotel Red for the evening. I went out and I grabbed lunch at the Green Owl Cafe which was really delicious, some great amazing vegan food. Um, and then after that I went to Alice Asylum, um, just north of downtown I believe and really close to the airport and I tried a couple of their um, beers which are very good. And then I decided to head back um, to the downtown area where the Capitol is located at. Check out the Capitol building. I didn't go inside because I think it was too late, but I walked around. And then walked around and looked at some of the shops. And then I ended up grabbing dinner. Um, I went to Ian's Pizza, which I haven't been to in a while. And um, I used to go to Ian's Pizza before it switched to Demo's Pizza in Chicago, and it's one of my favorites. So, got um, the vegan mac and cheese pizza, which is super decadent, and but oh so good, like carbs on carbs. Um, so I have leftovers, which I will have for tomorrow, and now I'm back in the hotel, just tired from the long day of driving, and I'm looking forward to exploring more of Madison tomorrow. I think tomorrow on my agenda, I'm going to be checking out the Mustard Museum, which sounds super fun to me and very interesting. Um, I love kind of kitschy things and it's mustard, so it should be really fun. And maybe um, one of the art museums, and then maybe one or two more breweries, and then just walk around and explore. Um, maybe go down by the water, I'm not too sure yet. Just kind of going with the flow. For this trip and Phoebe is doing really well. Okay, just doing that. Um, she handled herself very well and she really is enjoying the hotel room here at Hotel Red. Which actually surprised me because sometimes in hotels it can go either way with her. Um, but she is running around, she took a nap, she's having a great time. So I'm really grateful that she is a really good traveler. And I definitely would love to do more pet friendly vacations. Um, if you have any recommendations of favorite spots, especially if they're in the Midwest vicinity, whether it be like Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, Wisconsin, leave a comment below and let me know because I would love to venture more with Phoebe and check out more dog friendly places. So I think I'm going to change into my pajamas and just call it a night here in Madison, Wisconsin. So I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. Bye for now. Morning friends, today is my second day, my only full day here in Madison and I'm so excited and I'm out on the balcony but it's a little loud right now due to the construction all around but we do wanted to come out and the weather is really nice outside so it's beautiful and I just finished getting ready and then heading to get coffee, there's like the little coffee shop, I think it's called Indie Coffee, just down the road from the hotel so we're going to get coffee. I am leaving it in your coffee. And then I am going to head to the National Mustard Museum, which I'm super excited. It looks super kitschy. And I read online that they have mustard pieces. And I'm all about that. And I wonder if you can buy mustard there. Because if you can, I'm definitely going to be bringing some home with me because I love mustard. Um, so, yeah, so let's go ahead and let's get this day started. You like the balcony? She really likes listening to the cars. Yeah, you like listening to the cars and the construction? Yeah, you know. She's like, I've had enough now. Ready to go inside? Yeah. Too warm? Yeah, too warm? Okay, let's go. To get coffee at Indie Coffee. So I just parked and I'm walking to the National Mustard Museum and I'm so excited. So there it is, the National Mustard Museum. inside the Mustard Museum. Try the 
different types of mustard seeds. from all the different states. How new is this? Let's go find Michigan. Oh, here's Michigan. They even have a vending machine where you can buy mustard. It is the first and only all mustard vending machine. How fun! Oh my God. Here's the Canadian mustards over here. I've never had taken a mustard. done at the National Mustard Museum and it was so fun, so kitschy. And I also bought a couple different mustards. I got a beer mustard that I tried to sample that was so good. And then I also got a, another beer mustard that I didn't try but has chipotles which I'm a sucker for that. And then I got another Dijon mustard that is made here in Wisconsin. So yeah, so I'm excited and now I think I'm gonna go ahead and have some lunch. So I just parked the car and we're, or I am, Phoebe's not with me right now. She's relaxing in the air conditioning at the hotel and I am heading to Great Dane bring her lunch. I'm super excited. Let me show you the building, looks super cute. I'm back at the Wisconsin State Capitol and I'm going to see if I can go inside and walk around, maybe tour it a little bit since I wasn't able to last night when I came and stopped by. So let's go ahead and check it out. touring the capitol building and now i'm heading to the old fashioned which i read is a must visit here in madison i think it's just right up here yep. there it is. old fashioned Hotel room. Um, I just took 
Phoebe out to go to the bathroom, and then I think I'm going to head down to the Wise restaurant, which is um, located in the hotel, to grab a drink and then some dinner. And then after that, I think I'm going to head back out and explore more of Madison and check out a few more places. So, so far I've had a great day. It's been a lot of fun here in Madison and I already know that I definitely want to plan back, plan to come back another time. There was just not enough time to see everything that I wanted to do in two days. I would like to explore more of the outdoor scenery here in Madison, maybe kayak, bike next time, but there's only so many hours in the day. But I've had a lot of fun so far, and I really enjoyed the National Mustard Museum today. That was a lot of fun. It was so kitschy, but amazing. And then also exploring the Capitol, which is such a beautiful Capitol building. And I'm kind of a geek when it comes to architecture and art history, so it was fun getting to explore that. So take it easy, and then um, grab something to eat for dinner. Not too hungry, but... I'll just grab something late for dinner before heading back out um, to Madison tonight. So I'll check back in with you later. Bye for now. to check out Carbon for Brewing. Check out and see their beers. Morning, today is Saturday and it is our last day here in Madison, Wisconsin. I just finished packing up and then Phoebe and I are gonna get ready to check out of the Hotel Red. We had a great stay here overall. Um, we love the hotel, love the room. I think she personally wants to move in forever, but it's just not gonna happen. So we're gonna check out and then we're gonna head downtown to check out the farmer's market. And then I think there's a bagel place that has bagels with vegan cream cheese. So we might grab that for breakfast before we head out of Madison. And then on our way home, it's kind of out of our way. But we are gonna stop at New Glarus Brewing Company, which I have not been to New Glarus before. And check that out and um, do a little beer tasting there. And then I'm crossing my fingers that it doesn't storm. And then we're able to sit outside at the patio at Pig's Mine Brewing um, in Rockford, Illinois, because it's all vegan, um, vegan food, vegan beer, whatever. Um, but I'm just worried that the rain will prevent us from being able to sit outside since I'm traveling with Phoebe We can't bring her inside the rock brewery. So we'll see crossing my fingers that I'll be able to Because I've been wanting to go there for a while. So that's it for now and I'll check back with you later. Bye! So from Gotham Bagels, I got the original V bagel sandwich just on a plain bagel. I mean, I got it to go because they couldn't, they didn't have any outdoor seating to sit with Phoebe. So I'm gonna have, probably have this bagel and then we are hitting the road to New Glarus. New Glarus Brewing here at New Glarus, Wisconsin. You excited, Phoebe? You excited? Yeah, you like it?
until the next time we hit the road, thanks for watching as always, and if you like these types of videos, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, bye!